So this is a, a bit of a continuation of the live stream that I had with Christian the other day. And by all means, in fact, I'm going to put a link to it in the uh, description below. So feel free to check it out and see what sort of things we were talking about. But Christian had asked me um, a pretty good question about the idea of social momentum and what could guys do to uh, get that ball rolling so they could actually be more confident and by being more confident, I don't mean literally, you know, within a couple of days or that same day that they go out and practice, but getting them to essentially future proof and think about that if they go out and practice talking to people now, where could they be in three months time or six months time or a year and so on. And I thought, you know what, maybe it's worth me just sort of mentioning this idea that if you don't take action, if you don't look to actually work on your social anxiety, then you will always have social anxiety. And I don't think I had mentioned that point when uh, I did the live stream with him. I gave plenty of examples of, you know, if you uh, just at least, first of all, get yourself out of the house, um, set yourself tasks and goals to give you reasons to maybe go from uh, point A to point B. And maybe you have to also give yourself reasons to justify speaking to people, whether it be asking for directions, whether it be saying like hello or just good morning, good afternoon, or maybe even going as far as giving compliments. But I never really mentioned the point that if you don't actively take responsibility for working on your social anxiety, you will always have it. This isn't something that you can just constantly keep delaying and say, oh yeah, I'll get back to it or I'll, I'll work on it, you know, next week and then next week never happens. And then that turns into, you know, like a month, six months and so on. This isn't something that really you want to let slip. You want to make sure that your social anxiety is always taken care of, at least to a point that integrating yourself into, you know, the social world isn't going to be an issue for you. The last thing that I want to see happen to guys, and I've known this to happen to guys, which is why I'm going to mention it, but I don't want guys to become agoraphobic or be scared to actually leave the house or have such intense social anxiety that it is impossible just to have normal conversations with people, let alone this idea of working on your dating life and going out, practicing cold approaching and trying to get yourself on dates through people that you're meeting in real life. That is certainly going to be a much more challenging step if you can't handle the fundamentals of what it takes to be sociable, what it takes to have a very normal conversation with people. So this isn't something really that anyone else can do. This is your responsibility. You know, as much as I'd love to say, like if you went to a coach, they could kind of like imprint everything that you need into you. A bit like uh, that scene in The Matrix where like Neo downloads uh, into his brain how to do Kung Fu. And then like hours later, that's it. He just knows how to do it. Unfortunately, you have to put the hard graft into it. You have to experience the highs and lows of what it takes to actually talk to new people. Um, and then even from that, you become desensitized just through that exposure of being in situations that you didn't quite know how to handle first. But now as you've experienced it several times, many times, however, then you've become more comfortable in it and you've just naturally learned how to uh, to handle those situations. Now, there's a, a saying and I'm sure I'm probably going to butcher it right now, but it's something like, you know, it's insanity to do the same thing over and over again. Uh, I can't think who may have quoted it. I might think it's Einstein, but I could be completely wrong on that. But it doesn't matter. It's a great quote. So um, by all means, maybe even leave in the description below uh, and see uh, to let me know like who it is. Although I will probably Google it straight after this video. Um, but it's just important to know that if you're not happy with your dating life and you aren't certainly happy with your social skills, 
Maybe you also doubt that or trust that you know what to say to someone or you just feel that you just don't know what to talk about, you're not very good at conversations, then you have to put yourself in social situations to practice your conversation skills. Now, there are certainly easier and harder ways to do it. Some of the harder ways would be to put yourself in maybe like social events or to go out and practice cold approaching on your own um, and, uh, and then just sort of see what happens which can be good jumping in the deep end, but at the same time, if you don't know what you're doing, then you don't know what you're doing. There's, you're just going to be wasting your own time. And you may also make things even worse if you were scared already to go and talk to people and now you've had bad experiences to validate that, then it could be made certainly even more challenging to overcome those hurdles. So do consider actually going to uh, a dating coach who can help you to build those social skills or help you to at least build those conversation skills at the very least. And if perhaps that is going to be a struggle for you, then I think it's probably a really good idea to certainly um, go to other coaches, maybe that do specialize in conversation skills that can give you the opportunity to just practice one-on-one with them or maybe even doing it with a friend even actually at the very least, but practice with each other how to have a conversation or come to some realizations about the fact that you don't need to be going into a conversation trying to like be strategic in what topics you're going to talk about. Just go in with some curiosity and ask some questions and respond to those questions with more questions and statements. But essentially I'm kind of going full circle here and getting back to the point that this is your responsibility. You've got to make those changes. You've got to be the one to take action if you want to be able to overcome your social anxiety. And like I said with Christian, give it a couple weeks, give it a couple months even, and then see where you're at. Think about the future. Where do you want to be with your dating life? Where do you want to be with your social skills? Don't worry too much about, um, you know, oh, I have to be really great tomorrow. Except that right now you aren't very good at having conversations. You aren't that good with your social skills. And certainly maybe you haven't got the greatest dating life that you would hope for because you can work on these. And in fact, acceptance is like that first stage that if you can take that um, that acknowledgement that what you're doing isn't great, but you want to work on it, you can start setting a strategy for yourself to actually work on those things and then consider where your dating life could be in, you know, those three, six months time. You could be dating the kind of women that you never thought possible. Maybe you might even find yourself in a relationship. You never know. You can't predict the future. So uh, I do hope that this video was useful for you. As I say, this is kind of just a continuation of a point um, that I hadn't quite uh, completed making uh, just because it was a very on the spot question. Um, But I really do hope that this was useful and certainly do watch it with the live stream that I did with Christian. Uh, so check out his channel as well if you haven't done so already. And I would love to hear your thoughts on this in the description below as well. Are you actively working on your social life or what kind of sticking points are you struggling with that's preventing you or that you feel is preventing you from actually taking action and doing something about it? And if you can, please like the video, subscribe to the channel. So it then means that I can reach even more guys help more guys with their social anxiety and helping them with things like their cold approaching or just dating lives in general. And if you are still struggling with all of those things that I've mentioned, I do offer coaching as well. So by all means, have a look in the description, check out my website. And I offer things like my desensitization therapy. If you are someone who is thinking about cold approaching, I offer my life coaching if you need that accountability. And if you've certainly got a lot of anxiety or traumas over socializing, then do check out my integral eye movement therapy too. 
But other than that, my name is Dan. I've been that dating anxiety guy. And uh, thanks for tuning in and look forward to more videos in the future from me.